Hi all, I'm Melissa and welcome to Oh My Word, Meli. So today's video is the phone apps book tag and I came across this on Jesse the Reader's channel last week. It, uh, this book tag has been created by him and has been inspired by the book by Morgan Matson called Take Me Home Tonight. So I have not uh, read the book yet. I also heard of the book only when I watched his video last week and I'll leave a pic of it on this side. So it is one of the latest releases. It was published uh, on the 4th of May uh, this year. So do check it out. I'm definitely going to check it out. Uh, I know the caption or the tagline of it. It's uh, two girls, one night and no phones. So that itself has got me hooked. I can't wait to uh, read it. Maybe I'll read it on as an ebook or maybe I'll get the book. We'll see. Anyway, without further ado, let's start this book tag. Contacts. Scroll to a random contact in your phone and recommend a book to that person. I'm actually filming with my uh, main phone. so. I can't scroll through the contacts of that so I'm just going to scroll through whoever the contacts I have on my uh, second phone so I'm closing my eyes and I'm just going to stop okay I stop Ooh, so I got Shannon Johnson so she's one of my friends since grade 2 yes since we were really small so for Shannon hmm, I will recommend follow me back uh, by a V Geiger so I think she will like it it's a bit of a mystery it's a bit of a thriller sort of thing yeah it's a YA thriller book so A V Geiger is a Wattpad author and this is her first book so there is another book of uh, for this called tell me no lies as well I still haven't read it and I love this this is about a girl who is uh, afraid to leave the house and is always on social media and yeah anyway so she follows this uh, celebrity who she has a huge crush on and he starts following her back and they have some conversations and she finally gets to meet him but there is a huge plot twist which I'm not going to reveal as usual so please read this book so this is the book I will be recommending to Shannon Shannon if you are watching this please read this camera share the last photo of a book you save to your phone so the last bookish sort of photo that I took from my phone is the MB in the Ashes series by Sabata here's notes what's the last book that had you writing down all your thoughts on it as you read it so for me that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I had so many points that I had while I was reading so I am pretty sure you can see this book had like it had me writing so many notes. I love this book if you haven't watched my review on it please click on the link up here and if you still haven't read this please do read it I highly recommend it. Mail app what was the last book you received by mail the last book mail that i got was from zakio ever an instagram page i think if you all uh, follow me on instagram or on tiktok you would have seen my unboxing video so i actually got three books in that mail that is legend born unhoneymooners girl serpent and thorn google maps Name a book series where you have no idea the direction it is heading in. So for that, the only series that I have read so far that has not been completed is the Eldest Curses trilogy by Cassandra Clare where they have read Scrolls of Magic and The Lost Book of the White and the third book. I always keep forgetting that name. I'll just leave the name down here. Uh, so I love these two books. To some extent, the anyway Cassandra class book. I have no idea how this is going to end. Like the expectations are so high up. I really don't know. I just I just can't wait to read the third book and see where it's heading. So this is definitely my Google Map book. <laughs> Weather app. 
name a book that feels like sunshine to you for me when i saw this question i couldn't stop thinking of still me by jojo moyes yes this uh, plot didn't wow me like me before you i had so many so much of uh, expectation to it it was a really good a book to read it's actually nice you can read it but i was expecting more out of it but just see how yellow and like this is like the most like the fullest yellow book i had and it's such a like it it reminds me of sunshine actually google translate name a book that was originally published in a different language so i don't have any books I don't own any books that were originally in a different language and then was translated to English but uh, I am pretty sure most of y'all would have heard about uh, Frederick Backman he's one of the most popular authors these days and obviously his book Bear Town I am pretty sure y'all would have heard it I, it's on my TBR I still haven't read it but I've heard a lot about it uh, across TikTok across uh, BookTube and Bookstagram so i'll just leave a picture of it here so this was originally um, published in swedish and uh, it was translated to english as beartown by uh, neil smith uber <laughs> the irony in that so for those who knows me you all know why i find it very ironic but name a book or series where the storyline took you on a ride okay so for sure for this one i have to talk about i had i know i'm trying as much as possible to stop talking about lindsay kelk's i had series because it's a series i love and i i end up talking about it in most of my videos and i just can't help it this series is an eight part uh, uh, series and i loved it it's definitely a total ride you get it's an adventure with angela clark and jenny lopez there is more than just a simple ride it's like an entire adventure so this definitely is my uber book spotify name a book that you would recommend on audio hmm i actually have nothing to recommend here because i don't uh, listen to audio books because i find hearing someone else's voice uh, to be a little bit of a distraction for me not a little bit like a huge distraction for me because it's just weird i like my head voice and also audio books uh, require like undivided attention like you have to really keep uh, focus on what you are listening to so i don't like audio books but my friends have suggested that if i do want to ever start uh, or listen to an audio book i should start with uh, mackenzie lee's uh, a gentleman's guide to vice and virtue calendar what's an upcoming book release that you are dying to get your hands on so i'm pretty sure you all know my answers for this because i did mention it in one of my previous videos so i have two books that i'm dying to get my hands on and they are going to be released next week so th the first one is freed by el james that is 50 shades freed from christian gray's perspective and also the other one is one last stop by casey mcquiston so that's uh from the same author of red white and royal blue so i can't wait to get reading those clock what's the last book that had you losing track of time because it was so good and for me that is midnight sun by stephanie mayer this was one of my five star reads from last year and i i love uh, sorry i love twilight um and i knew i am definitely going to love this but this actually blew my expectations to know what edward was thinking when bella was thinking one thing it was really nice i love this and i i know it's a huge book but i did not feel time passing by while i was reading this good reads what was the last book that you gave a 5 out of 5 stars so i have read many books after this book that i'm going to show y'all also but none of those were 5 out of 5 stars for me mostly 
highest it was four so for me my last five out of five was i heart hawaii by lindsay kelp the eighth and last book of the i heart series i know i'm talking about it so that's it guys for this the phone apps book tag those were all the um, uh, questions it had and also just just for the sake of getting to know y'all and also because of my curiosity what's the app that you mostly use on your phone like most of us are still under lockdown or in quarantine so definitely we kill a lot of time by hanging on our phones guilty as charged i'm like addicted to instagram and tiktok like anyway uh, that comes to the end of this video and it's time for me to wrap up until i see in my next video stay safe stay home and bye from oh my word, Millie.